How are you? Happy Friday. At last it's Friday. Um, hope you're okay. Hope the week's going well for you. Um, I thought I would do a live today just to have a quick chat and a catch up and let you know what I've been working on. I've been over the last weekend um, prepping for some workshops that I've been planning and putting together. Um, and those are centering really on wellness and well-being, as you might expect at this time of year. Um, <clears throat> I know from talking to a lot of people that obviously our wellness and well-being is um, taking a bit of a hit at the moment, not only because of the current lockdown situation, but because of the winter months, um, the lack of daylight, <clears throat> the sleeping and anxiety are obviously ongoing issues um, and as we kind of all know um, during the winter months if you're anything like me um, our diet seems to change and we <clears throat> head towards eating all those wonderful Christmas foods and we sort of carry on those habits post Christmas into January and into February so we're starting to eat <clears throat> um, richer foods foods that are higher perhaps in sugar and fat than we would normally do in the spring and the, particularly in the summer months. I know that I normally eat a lot of fruit in the summer and at the moment I'm eating a lot of chocolates and cakes. Um, <clears throat> so I thought it would be a good opportunity to have a quick show of one of the products that I've been using for the past couple of winters now. Um, and you might notice from the title of this that it Missouri snake root which sounds very exotic and it caught my attention but actually it's echinacea. Um, so <clears throat> echinacea tincture is what I'm going to have a quick chat about um, and it's a tincture that is especially helpful during the winter months because it's a multi-purpose herb um, and it's been used for centuries it helps to boost the immune system and there's been quite a lot of research into echinacea. Um, I've got some links to some really good research so if you are interested get in touch and I can let you have those link but a quick google will bring up a ton of information around echinacea or Missouri snake root if you prefer to call it that which I think I might do from now on. <clears throat> um, it helps to boost the immune system by fighting infection um, and the one that we have is this tincture here it's vegan and it's our best-selling tincture very easy to use just add a couple of drops to well I put it in my elderberry syrup you can add it to your porridge in the mornings or herbal tea or if you're brave just a couple of drops on a teaspoon and drink it neat I haven't done that so I don't know what it tastes like that way but <laughs> you could give it a go um, so, yep, it's, as I say, it's known by the Sioux people as Missouri snake root. Um, and it was traditionally used by Native Americans to help treat fevers and to help heal wounds. And it was introduced to Europe in the 19th century. And like I say, it's been widely researched. Um, the flowers have also been used to treat minor colds and chills. So, again, this time of year, we get a lot of colds, we get a lot of chills, um, and echinacea really helps to fight off those infections and boost the immune system. Uh, German research has also shown that the leaves can be as effective as the roots for co combating infection, <clears throat> but we mainly use the roots and the leaves of the plant. Um, it stimulates the immune system and the lymph acts as a lymphatic tonic. Um, it's antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory so those are really good properties for a herb to have um, as an all-rounder it's going to really boost your system <clears throat> um, and it does help to increase the number of white blood cells in the, in the body which help to fight infection and destroy bacteria so as I've said, it's known by the Sioux people as Missouri snake bite because they used it 
as a remedy for snake bite. The Cheyenne people chewed the root to help quench thirst. And there's another group of people whose name I haven't written down, so I'm not sure who. Um, they used to wash their hands in a decoction of it in order to increase their tolerance to heat. So it's been used widely across the world for centuries for various reasons. Um, and as I say, I've been using it for the last couple of winters to really give my body a bit of a boost and to help fight winter bugs and infections. So again, there it is, it comes in a smallish bottle that you only need a few drops at a time. Um, and I would recommend echinacea being added to your diet to give yourself a fighting chance this winter. So if you're interested in finding out more, as ever, just drop me a message or leave a comment. Um, I'll be happy to share more info with you. Um, and that's it from me. So have a good weekend. I don't know if it is going to snow here. The weather earlier was saying quite a lot of snow, but then it seemed to change. So we shall see. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and I shall catch up with you next week. Thank you. Bye.